DNA, a molecule in our cells that make you, you. A title of video reveals everything what we are going to discuss today. Is the DNA ancestry testing? We always relate this DNA to replication, translation, synthesis, and transfer of information, all these center dogma kind of authorities. But what possibly the DNA molecule can reveal is still in the nascent stage to explain. And one of the most amazing thing about DNA is that it can tell you where from your ancestors are. It can tell you the composition of DNA, like how much percentage it has got African, how much it's European, Asian, and all other regions. Genetic ancestry testing is a genetic process to decode the coding sequence in order to get the details about the lineages and the ancestry based on the genetic code. DNA ancestry can reveal all the three possible elements like paternal lineage or maternal lineage or both. For paternal lineage, we have Y chromosome testing. Variation in the Y chromosome passed exclusively from father to son and can be used to explore ancestry in the direct male line. And then we have mitochondrial DNA testing. This type of testing identifies genetic variation in mitochondrial DNA. Although most of the DNA is packaged in chromosomes within the cell nucleus, cell structures called mitochondria also have a small amount of their own DNA, known as mitochondrial DNA. Both males and females have mitochondrial DNA. But mitochondrial DNA is inherited solely from the mother. So this type of testing can be used by either sex. It provides information about the direct female ancestral line. Then we have the single nucleotide polymorphism testing that's being used by all the companies to explain the composition of DNA like 23andMe also uses this single nucleotide polymorphism technique. These tests evaluate large number of variations single nucleotide polymorphisms across persons entire genome. The results are compared with those of others who have taken the tests to provide an estimate of a person's ethnic background. For example, the pattern of SNPs might indicate that a person's ancestry is approximately 50% African, 25% European, 20% Asian, 5% unknown, and like this. Genealogists use this type of test because Y chromosome and mitochondrial DNA test results which represent only single ancestral lines and do not capture the overall ethnic background of individual like this SNPs do. The best and the most sophisticated DNA ancestry testing is done by 23andMe, a personal genomics and biotechnology company based in California. This 23andMe does not only show the ancestry of particular region, but it breaks up the genomic code into segments showing the percentage composition of regions all over the world. Your ancestry composition report shows the percentage of your DNA that comes from each of 31 different ancestry populations worldwide. 23andMe calculate your ancestry composition by comparing your genome to genomes of over 10,000 people with known ancestry. When a segment of your DNA matches the DNA from one of the 31 populations with high probability, they assign that ancestry to that segment of your DNA. Another famous company named Family Tree DNA this family tree DNA offers analysis of autosomal DNA, Y DNA, and mitochondrial DNA to individuals for genealogical purpose. It is the most popular company worldwide for Y DNA and mitochondrial DNA, and the third most popular for autosomal DNA. The first and second being the Ancestry DNA and 23andMe. The more the samples they test, the more will be the accuracy of ancestry. So, this is how the DNA ancestry testing is done in the next part of the video we will be doing the analysis of dna ancestry testing and we will also see what's the mechanism behind dna ancestry testing i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel thanks